What is going on guys? Welcome back. Any long time viewer knows more than two videos today means one of them was going to be an investing video. So I shared on my community tab that I recently hit $10,000 profit in my smaller Rebull account. Really a nice milestone. The last 16 months I've had the account. Did a lot of swing trading. Put a lot of the proceeds into RYLD, QYLD. Trying to build income without the same tax implications. You know, there's nothing worse than getting hit with tax on short-term capital gains and then going out and buying stocks that give you qualified dividends. So just a little pro tip from me to you, not that I'm a financial advisor, but if you looked at my taxes last year, I had to pay for one. So back in August, I started a Fundrise account because I wanted to start building a portion of my wealth in real estate and the housing market just continues to flourish. Interest rates are low. People sell their home in a day and a half. People have equity in their homes. And the stock market literally hits new highs now every other week. So I was in kind of this weird point where realty income, stag commercial, Gladstone commercial, a lot of stocks that you talk about, I was dramatically raising my average cost and lowering my dividends each time I was buying. So I was really happy with how this account over at Fundrise started. I really don't promote them because to be fair, they don't have any type of good promotion for you. They'll, they'll waive your advisory fees, which you know for this $600, $500 would be like a quarter. You know, It's really not worth it. But it did lead me over to ground floor, which basically, as you can see here, allows you to select loans that are pretty much pre-funded by ground floor. And then you take a percentage of the remaining term and the rate back into your account at minimums of $10. And this is really something that I wish I'd got into sooner because it allows you, you know, unlike when you buy into a REIT on the stock market, you know, you really don't own those properties. You own a portion of the company. When you go over to Fundrise, you're still buying a, an E-REIT for all practical purposes. You know, this, however, is completely different than the fact that you're actually funding a loan that actually purchases the specific property. It's not just purchases. You can see, you know, there's new construction, there's rehab, there's renovation. So you're doing a lot of different things if you choose to, but you can actually go in some cases, you know, drive and see this property if you would want to and know that this is where your money is going. They do a great job at keeping you up to date on the way things are looking. And honestly, you can do a lot of research on these properties. I don't invest even $10 in any of them until I've actually looked into them. But Wanted to ask you guys if you're involved in this, how you're doing it. I've kind of been experimenting, taking on the shorter term loans and then paying back and rolling over into the long term. That way, my money is kind of sitting for a shorter period, even though it's returning less. So it's it's really an interesting concept to do these crowdfunding things, and I'm sure I'm not the only one doing that. I will tell you, if you want to join, I'll put a link down in the pinned comment. They'll give you $10 just for signing up, and it really is kind of a different way uh, of making money. And obviously, that's the goal, right? Go out, make money, and then pretty soon, once you get all that money you make to equal the bills you have, you don't need to work anymore. Something I'm striving to do every single day. So, love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I will, if you want, do some videos on how I actually go and look at these properties and decide what to invest in. Pretty much have a set way I've been doing it. Love to know your thoughts on it. Like I said, appreciate you checking out. And you guys know, I'll always be back in the week with more commentary.